the audio up tonight. Can y'all hear the music? everybody welcome to quality content my name's josh pescator and gundam's asleep right now oh my god where the fuck am i i am so dizzy where am i jesus christ okay i'm getting it back together hold on let me just take my medication oh I fucking hate YouTube. It's one of the worst platforms ever. This site is designed to just completely and utterly stifle the most creative humans on the planet. But if I bash my head into a fucking screen and look like a black caricature eating Popeye's chicken, they would just send me to the top! Ugh. What's today's show about? Because I don't really know. Well, there's been a little bit of news on the DSP front. Um, uh. I don't know if you've heard... He's uh he's he's quit the dock. Rage quit the dock. Oh, I bet knew that was gonna happen. That's not news. It's like telling me it's gonna rain one day while it's raining. But you DSP it. <laughs> Oh yeah. Like Mike Klum won't even speak to me. I I emailed him about DSP quitting and I got no reply, but everybody else gets like phone calls, they get uh statements. Me, it's radio silence. And that's because most likely I inadvertently killed the documentary with my interview of uh, Mike Klum. So that's the reality of the situation. I thoroughly believe that. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But I've got a, I've actually got a couple of business style things to announce. We're, we're mm -hmm. very professional here on the show. Um, we've got a brand new uh, clip channel. We do? Oh. Yeah. It, 
it was Gundo the Clips. Join Gundam's new clip channel, YouTube.com at Gundo Clips. That's where clips of this show and a lot of other cringe shit is going to land. Uh, <laughs> so check that out. Go ahead and subscribe to that. Um, another thing, from now on, all Red Label Super Chats, the names of the Super Chats will go on our outro stream screen. I haven't built that yet. All the shows from before, anyone that sent uh, a Red, La Red Label Super Chat, their name will be on the the outro screen as well but from now on i'm going to be keeping that uh that list so um and to piggyback on it if you want to become a channel member you can actually get gundam's videos early and uncut so you don't get the censored shit version that youtube makes and put up um they're great i see them all the time the the latest one g4 it was a long time coming but it was a great great video um, other than that, that's, uh, that's the business style things, you know, like comment, subscribe, you bigots. And, uh, I'm seeing fixed audio. The people are upset. I demand that you use the radio voice. Oh, my bad. Ah, this is better. Now I can. That's a lot it. better. Okay. All right. We muffle your thick Southern accent so people can find you slightly more enjoyable. Thank God that I have this procaster now. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, you bigots, and uh, let's get on with the show. This show is absolutely scuffed. Don't I'm half asleep. I fucking hate doing this already. Uh, where's the thing? Where's DSP's quitting thing? Did he make a statement? I'm sure he did. It's Dark Side Phil. There's probably like 5,000 statements. Uh, actually, we've that's got King clip. Cobra. <laughs> we'll, we'll what the fuck time. is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, play me Dark Side Phil's clips, and it's fucking Cobes. Fuck it, let's see what Cobra's got to say. I've got him. Here we go. That's not Cobra. Whatever. <laughs> my wife has finally made the decision to come back into my content, and Cat now. Oh, that's is great news, streams, Phil. You've been awesome, and now we're trying mm. to plan out the content where she can do co-op gameplay and commentary with me. And that's a lot of work, too, to figure that all out, right? <clears throat> so it's kind of like we got all this stuff going on already. And now, now we got a plan to have all this time away from work so I could film and I can do this and I got to travel to do this and that. And then on top of all of that, just so you guys know, there is one other factor that just happened this week. And I'm not going to tell you guys about it right now. Maybe eventually I would bring it up, but I'm not going to right now. But there was another huge determining factor that just happened. And that was basically the straw that broke the camel's back, as they say. And I was like, I just can't do this. All right. So just to make this official. All right. It is canceled. It's not, oh, it's delayed or whatever. The documentary is canceled. All right. Now, I'm not saying that I wouldn't do something like this again or consider doing it again in the future. I'm saying right now, this is not the time, the climate, or the level of stress <laughs> to really be taking on a project like this. It's not the climate. When is it ever the climate, Phil? When when all the stars align in Dark Side Phil collects all the infinity gems, it'll be the perfect time. When he can snap Tevin out of fucking existence, that'll be the perfect time. When duty is hung up by his feet and beaten to death with his own dick, that'll be the right time for Phil. Oh, man. I genuinely think uh, the stupid little interview with Mike Klum, definitely, I, I threw him off his game. We sat there and asked about Cat. I guess we weren't supposed to ask about Cat. And you had a theory that Mike Klum talked DSP into bringing out his wife early or some shit. I think. If it was me and I was a, the businessman uh, that Mike Klum is, I would have thought, hey, I'm going on a big YouTuber's channel to promote my documentary. Why don't you do something afterwards, Phil, to bring eyes to you? And the only one thing that they really could think of, let's get your wife involved. And uh, I, I think you called it from a mile away. Even when I heard it the first time, I was like, damn, he went hard in the paint right off the jump. But, yeah, I, I, I think you called Mike up and uh, – might have taken a minute for the dents to actually send him the the interview, but inadvertently, I'll 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 put you about fifty percent fifty percent calls. 
They were probably, Phil, you can't do... Oh, oh hold on, wrong voice. <clears throat> Phil, you can't do the documentary. I saw it's a Gundam stream, and he was asking about your beautiful wife, Kat, and if she gained any weight. He called her Fiona from the... I was going to say Lord of the Rings, from Shrek 2. <laughs> it was terrible. It was, Mike didn't know what to do. He was like a deer caught in the headlights. All he could say is that the dinner with you was wonderful and that you didn't smell of cat shit and urine, which I thought was a very big, <laughs> it was a big compliment, Phil. And DSP was like, it's a Gundam, that fucking ugly pervert. Fuck him and fuck this. I don't want him involved. I'm canceling this. Because DSP was sitting there saying some shit like, uh, the interview needs to be positive. And the only way it's positive is if it paints him in a good light. If the interview happens and people still had a negative view of Dark Side Phil, he felt that that would be a total failure. So that's why he walked away. If he couldn't control the narrative and get the exact outcome he wanted, there was no point in it for him. And I totally see it. And now with all of the uh, Argentinian pesos and the AWO, the Argentinian world order, Dark Side Phil has been backed into a terrible corner where there's just not enough money. To risk possibly embarrassing himself. Why do my fingers smell like doo-doo? Well, you need to stop scratching your balls. Does anyone care about DSP now? No, actually. I I was surprised DSP is on the fucking docket, my dude. Let me look at this paper here. We, we yeah. had to include him just so we could uh, tie up these loose ends. But, yeah, this arc is pretty much done and dusted. I, I'm, I'm with the fucking guy in chat. Like, DSP has been incredibly boring. Like, I don't even care about the civil war between rich and detractors. I don't give a single fuck. You know what I give a fuck about? Pokimane's opinions on what's going on on Twitch. Where the hell's the clip? Right here. Not say genuine question and then call someone slow. It's kind of like if I said, that's a great question, but you're an absolute idiot to think that gambling is only being advertised to adults only when it's being live streamed on twitch.tv. Maybe you're slow, but I say that with such genuine authenticity. Not say genuine question. But that was it. I love the caveman logic, like, maybe me good and you bad. So, what's she on about? Twitch is the fucking, what is this garbage? What is she's, honestly this? The gambling shit again? On the yeah. gambling shit. Like, the gambling, that's a huge issue. But um, Twitch thoughts with their tits literally out and creating the tit meta. I saw furry cocks on Twitch. Radio silence from Pokemon. <laughs> Like, not a word was said. Morg Pie was doing a stream where she's, like, using this uh, shake weight, right? But she's doing it at her face like she's jerking off a dude. And she's got, like, this thing around her hips that's shaking her ass that's in a mirror. And she's like, oh, yeah! The whole time, radio silence. But gambling, that's where we draw the line. I'm not saying gambling's great as a former uh, person with a gambling addiction, but I am saying you can't really smack down one and not the other. But I guess that's the sisterhood and girl power of Twitch, really. It's no surprise they're fucking losing money. Twitch fucking sucks. It's so bad now. If you really want to throw, literally go to like a Twitch dot stream, like that little Asia girl kicking around her feet and shit, and just read the comments from pathetic dudes. Just praising every moment of this and realize that one day China is going to invade the country and you're going to be a slave. How do you like that switch? I believe that China and Russia are teaming up together to make Americans fat, stupid, retarded and sexually inept. So in the next 20 years, they can just swoop in and take the country without any effort because guys like me will be too old. So all the dudes are some testosterone. We're not going to put up any fight. I'll be too busy with my walker and my tiny gun to model kits going, oh, if I was 20 years younger, you dirty, dirty commie, as they beat the living fuck out of me. And some uh, kid down the street wearing a fox tail and ears creates a GoFundMe saying that 
China and Russia shouldn't be beating up old people and taking the neighborhood. But then again, that's just me saying stupid shit because I'm tired and I'm completely and utterly zonked out of my mind. Clip it and call me a misogynist. I don't care. It'll do me a favor. What the hell else is on this docket? Why is my phone going off? I don't care. Um, you want to do some? I'm going to do some Cobra. Since you said him, I'm, I really want to do it. Do you want to do the uh, warrior, the gothic stud, or him? Let's do gothic stud. Let's do gothic stud. Let's get rid of a fucking Pokemon. Is there anything else going off Pokemon? Oh, wait, isn't she like copyright claiming people for making her black on Twitter? Isn't that like racist? She uh, blocked the guy that made that uh, that post. I know that for sure. Well, he got what he deserved for making her a black woman. Uh, now, I, I need to cleanse my palate with Cobes. We'll start from the beginning. China is the thinnest paper tiger. That's what you say now. Wait till all of our fighting force men are literally like James Charles, which is where we're headed. No, unacceptable. Wait, I can't say that about James? Oh, well. I don't care. Fellow YouTubers, I got a package from a fan. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll find out here in a second. I wanted to make this video because I've noticed lately that there are some dudes who think I'm trying to steal their girlfriend. And if you're so worried about me trying to steal your girlfriend, maybe you should treat her better, for one. And two, I'm not going to try anything because I respect the game, even if the game don't respect me. And truth be told, she'd probably look a lot better wrapped around my arms, but that's beside the point. Just because she would look better wrapped around my arms doesn't mean that gives me the right to fuck up your relationship. So people can just calm their shit. Just because I could doesn't mean I should. You feel me? Thank God oh, Cobra's like the stealing day, our pussy. I'm at Walmart buying a couple things and you know how it is when you go to he's an animal i have to preface that this is like old cobra this right, is this, like silver age cobra this is pre uh pre-apartment pre-current apartment last apartment uh, yeah like this is pre the end of cobra cobra this is what he still was capable of stringing together a sentence about passing out drunk in a chair and this is actually a pretty chad video now when we go to current day Cobra, we're going to see a little bit of a difference. Pre-Chad? <laughs> there was never a Chad arc ever. Go to the grocery store. You want to look for the shortest line possible. And uh, I don't like using self-checkout if I can help it because that's taking jobs away from real Americans. And so one of the things I'll do is I'll be like walking by and I'll think to myself, hmm. How fast is this line going to move? And I walk by this chick and her boyfriend standing in line, you know. And when someone is standing right in front of you, I think to myself, and I wasn't really paying too much attention, like, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking to myself, how fast is this going to move? And then after a second of observation, I noticed that after my split second of observation, they had a shit ton of stuff they were buying, so... I immediately proceeded to walk to the checkout aisle next to them. And she assumed I was checking her out. And again, I wasn't trying to. But when someone's standing in front of you, they're kind of in your peripheral vision, you dig. And if you were so worried about me checking you out, then why the fuck are you wearing a goddamn tube top that's white, skin tight, and shows off your boobs and your cleavage? Now, you can sit there and say you're wearing it for your boyfriend, but don't bullshit me. That's only part of it. The other part of it is because you want other guys to notice and so they can be like, oh, well, look what he has and I don't. Don't bullshit me. Like, no. Wait, let's skip to the part where Cobra starts working out. That's where it's at. All right, get ready to see just pure peak human conditioning. Look at those weights, baby. This guy's an animal. <laughs> Feel the burn, Cobes. So thank One you more. to whoever sent the uh, dumbbells. I greatly appreciate it. They're definitely heavy enough for me to get a workout. 
Look at him bang those shits out, dude. Hashtag pussy wizard. <laughs> I missed this version of Cobra. Check out that form. <laughs> Bro, it's like fucking 15 pounds in each hand. Well, these would be great, too. Like, if I, if I feel myself getting angry or upset, you know, one thing I could do as a coping mechanism is pick up my dumbbells and start lifting. Take out my anger on 32, 32 pounds here, yeah. Okay. I want everyone to remember that, <laughs> what he just said. <laughs> Not bad for somebody who smokes cigarettes. You're sitting there like, that's just not human. Well, yeah, these will make a nice addition to the apartment. Four more, come on. I'll set those down right next to my computer here. Oh, we get the picture. The Cobra's an so absolute that... beast. Okay. So... We have a new video from Cobra, and I hope I can find this quickly. This, this is, is current day Cobra. Current day Cobra is filmed about, I think, two, three or four days ago, and um, this is him with his brand new iPhone. He's enjoying his iPhone, uh, screeching into the ether as he listens to some song. Um, but let's see how he deals with anger in current day. <laughs> we should also preface that Cobra has trench. You have a now. fucking bad day, fucking drink some beer and listen to Ozzy and get over it. Oh, that's the sound of a good time happening. Long live Ozzy, motherfuckers. Along with my fans and my friends and my family and fuck the trolls. No, 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 no. Ooh. Yeah! Oh my fucking god. Look, I'm trying to fucking listen to music and jam out for YouTube. And some asshole's gonna fucking call me. <laughs> Shut up. Like, okay. Hey, Cobra, I'm a fan of your videos. I'm like, cool. I appreciate it. Can you, like, fucking wait till done streaming? No, I can't because I gotta tell you right now. Gonna play the song. Oh my fucking god. No, of course not. Because. Oh, I shouldn't have fucking done that. Now the screen's a little funky. Well, quit smashing it while you're ahead. <laughs> oh my god. No, I don't want to answer your call right now. I'm trying to fucking do a video, and it's like, I'm going to call Cobra and fucking fuck with him. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, I don't want to fucking. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah, fucking typical. I shouldn't have fucking smashed my screen like this. God damn it. I don't want to fucking talk to you when I'm streaming right now. No, no, watch your promises. Well, that's mom. certainly a decline. Oh, my fucking Someone God. Someone needs to, like, cut these things down. I really ruined damn long. my screen. They're just too long. Yeah, he was about to. Like, uh, Jesus Christ.
Uh, we should dump like, directly well, to the beat. Damn fall for smashing it. I'm like, it shouldn't take that much to fucking ruin it. You know what? I gotta control my fucking temper. Great. Beat the phone, my God damn it. That's what we're here is for. Stuck like this. So now I'm gonna have to wait for another phone to do what I do. Fucking re stupid, dude. Shut the fuck up. No, I don't want to answer your phone while I'm screaming. Fantastic. I shouldn't be able to fucking smash my screen just by bashing on it like that. No, don't fucking tell me to answer shit. It's my own damn fault. Where is he? Great. There we go. Fucked up my cell phone, and it won't stop playing. Okay, now it stop playing. <laughs> Fuck you! Stupid! You're so stupid! Fuck you! I just got this cell phone, and of course you had to freak out about it. He should have kept the weights. Yeah, I think we should have gone directly to the phone beating rather than making us all sit through fucking Cobra slowly moving up to the beating. I should have gone faster. I should have got a 1.5. Yes. Like, good Lord, I might have to control these from now on. Jesus, fuck. I'm watching a drunk man with autism slowly build up rage. You know, that's it. From now on, we have to edit supercuts if uh, you, we're going to watch these sort of things. I want to go directly towards the action. Like, I want to see King Cobra get drunk, and then we move to him walking past the camera, passing out, and then bashing his head on the table and flipping over some wands. I don't need, like, the 30 to 40 minute build up to the head bashing. By then, everyone has left. And they're like, oh, man, the Gundam streams. It was good the first two times, but then I just watched him watch Cobra. Holy fuck. Yeah, skip the bullcrap. I understand. Someone is going to pay for this. And it's not going to be me. Oh, my fucking gosh. The worst DSP clip. Jesus Christ. Oh. What the hell's next? Amazon reportedly plans to pay $100 million to bring back Mr. B show on Prime. That's not news that makes me happy, but explain what's next. I know Mr. Beast was all over Twitter, and they were rubbing our noses in that bullshit. Yeah, Mr. Beast got paid over $250,000 to upload a four-month-old YouTube video on X and was pretty much gifted that money because, the uh, and you know, the uh, the ad revenue on X right now, not so great. The ad revenue on X is absolutely fucking garbage. Like, Elon Musk juiced Mr. Beast's video so fucking bad it was ridiculous. Like, holy fuck, dude. I don't even have an analogy for it because it was just annoying. Every time I tried to scroll on Twitter, I was seeing Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast. He's doing something. I'm like, I don't give a holy hell fuck. Jesus. And then all the advertisers bought up space on Twitch to be on the Mr. Beast video that was advertised everywhere. So that's why he made so much money. But if you're doing Twitch right now in your Twitch, Twitter, whatever, I'm so fucking sick of these T's or X. If you're doing it right now and you're uploading a crap like that, literally, it's like next to nothing. I think I'm barely making enough to cover my Twitter X six subscription or some shit. And I know Keemstar's drama alert did a billion impressions or something, right? And they only right. made eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars so, off of a billion impressions. Not views, impressions, but still only eight hundred dollars. Yeah, and somehow Mr. Beast pulls in two hundred fifty thousand. Elon Musk wants Mr. Beast on there so fucking bad it's ridiculous. Actually, I want to see how many views he he got on that video. Free Leafy, he's never coming back, man. Never. YouTube is done with him. And he tried to skirt the ban like two or three times. Yeah, it's over. That's what you get when you fuck with Pokimane, though. Like, when you really fuck with Pokimane. I definitely feel there's people that work in YouTube that she's cool with. Because after that drama, man, they got rid of Leafy so hard it even scared me. Turned my knuckles white. Speaking of which, there's going to be more um, 
shit changes to the YouTube algorithm coming up real soon. I'm being told they're going to have some uh, stuff that might affect gun YouTubers. So expect this shit to really suck coming this election season. What happened to Fred? Fred made his money and fucking left. Now oh, this shit. 168 million views, and then he posted his... My first X video made over $250,000. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You go, girl. It's a bit of a facade. Advertisers saw the attention it was getting and bought ads on my video, I think. You know, Beast. <laughs> don't fucking play, bro. And thus, my revenue per view is probably higher than what you would experience as in the peasants. Yes. Yeah, I experienced, uh, I believe, $16 for the month. Awesome. Fucking stupid ass site. Everything's run so fucking stupid. Instead of cultivating their own stars on Twitter or X, they just ran to jerk off Mr. Beast. And Elon Musk ain't going to win because Amazon's offering him $100 million. You're not going to win. There's just no reason. But whatever, who gives a shit? You know, it is what the fuck it is. I need to pull a Hassan. I need to, like, leave my own stream while a video of my character's lips just move. And we pretend that I'm watching. Where's that Hassan clip? Let's show people what up right now. champagne socialists are up to. This fucking goon. Gundam, no, when did you become a VTuber? When I had to go on live. But I was a VTuber like years ago. On. Can we say deadly military strikes? I don't know what's safe for me anymore. Acceptable. Cool. Iran. Iran is demanding answers amid an escalating. Watch this. Watch this. Pakistan. Overnight, Pakistan launched pee. retaliatory strikes on targets in quality content Iran, just across their shared border. That's the Pakistan worst fucking edit I've ever seen. Stop this. He's got professional editors, and nobody could edit this shit seamlessly to make it look like his jackass was there the whole time. They just hard cut. <laughs> I fucking hate social media, bro. You know what? Here's a hot take. Social media isn't the problem. People the problem. That's the issue. Society has just become so garbage now that it's just reflected in social media. The fact that Champagne Socialist is this fucking popular for literally leaving streams to piss and still making thousands of dollars is beyond me. Maybe we deserve a world war. Fuck it. Maybe we, let's blow us all to hell, end it all, and let the dinosaurs have it back. Fuck it. I'm pretty sure a Velociraptor has more integrity. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, the Velociraptor could be a Republican, for all I know. Has been money chair streams. God damn. Oh, hey, it's your fat otaku. Uh, also, you all be hunting for clean water, dude. Bro, that's funny because it's probably true. There'll still be one guy streaming from his bunker in Hawaii. No, nah, it's going to be dark side fell when the bombs drop, dude. Over under, I'm convinced that like uh, DSP is going to die on stream. Like, that's how he's going to go out. And then I'm going to die laughing. So it'll be like a butterfly effect. They're going to just stop for a bit. Oh, thank you for stopping by. But damn thing move. Paper Mario. Paper Mario. He's a big deal. I love that guy. There goes duty. Now, let me check what else is on this miserable ass fucking docket. Jesus um, Christ. While you're checking the docket, let me go ahead and do a couple of these super chats because they're kind of. Oh, that's a up smart a move. Bit. Let's uh, let's go. Uh, WYFT. Hey, Gundam, oh, wow. with the Canadian 20. Hey, Gundam, great video today on the MG, MGGPO2A model. I love the 0083 Stardust AU, and I think it's the peak of the old school Gundam uh, anime. My favorite model is the 0083 series, is the Blue Goof Custom. What's yours? Cheers. Well, I've always been partial to the new Gundam. Sonic Jaded with the five. I finally get to catch a live stream of Gundam since two years of trying on Twitch. Oh, this stream is terribly bad. 
I showed up sleepy. We had no plan of attack or anything. This is terrible. Angelic Diablo 96 with the $5, the Edgelord Messiah has returned. You are by far the best part of that interview. Ah, I'm glad you understand my magic. David McFarlane gifted five memberships. Thank you, David. Uh, M8566 with the $5. Hey, Gundam, we need a fluffy cam. That's actually a good idea. Uh, that's a tough one. Fluffy does as Fluffy chooses. Oh, boy, this is going well. Something's going wrong. <laughs> duty streams with the five. Papa Gundam, my hero. Appreciate that duty. Great job keeping up with uh, Phil as well. Love the content. I've been noticing sometimes Duty watches Phil, and he's going off into the dark end of uh, DSP. Because if you watch too much Dark Side Phil, that shit gets to you. It, like, annoys you. Before you know it, DSP just says some innocuous dumb shit, and it throws you into a rage. And I've been noticing Duty has been getting fucking bothered by DSP's bullshit. He keeps great uh, audits. If Phil wasn't a, such a dumbass when it comes to finances, he would hire Duty as his accountant. I wonder if, like, Duty would probably do it, but I don't think Phil would do it. No, Phil's too much he, of an idiot. Phil doesn't want anybody to know how much he's really making. Because there's a shot Phil's making more than me right now. <laughs> I should is die. Life with the $5, I think Pokey didn't like to see what she would... What she look, would look like if she was black or Chinese. That's very true. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Pokemon has nightmares where she's black and wakes up screaming. Because uh, she's a bigot. <laughs> Grenier Phoenix with the $10. Papa Gundam, I'm excited for the future of the streams. Thank you for all the content. Boo Adam Sessler. I hope he ends up unalive, bald, and angry. Uh, he, he, the, the key phrase is bubble himself. Shots fired. All right, Rango we need a bubble. With the 20. Uh, question, how does Disney not have a class action against it from the stockholders? I just can't wrap my head around how they can keep losing so much money with seemingly no repercussions. Well, there is a rich guy buying up all the stock because the stockholders are just walking away. So this one rich dude is planning a hostile takeover at Disney, and I know Bob Iger is definitely worried about it. And frankly, I welcome this old guy taking it. He couldn't possibly be worse than what we're getting. Uh, I think it's Ike Perlman, the guy that used to run Marvel Television. Hmm. He, he's going in with a, a group of investors. I could be wrong. Shock front with the five pounds. God damn it, Gundam. You messed up the biggest documentary of the 21st century. Would it really be? Would it really be? Think about DSP's fucking like, documentary. He mostly watched this dude sit on his ass... Play video games like what six days out of the week, poorly at that. Then you get the one day off with Phil. What the fuck more would there be? Sonic Jaded with the two dollars, ye old Playboy Cobes. The uh, classic Cobra. Classics. Red sticks with the ten dollars. Thank you, Captain Furlaw with the Canadian two dollars. Uh this is, this is Pussy Wizard. Uh, hashtag pussy hashtag wizard. Pussy wizard. Uh, Jagass with the five dollars. He just does the best he can every day. That's all we can do. Who DSP? I think he's talking about coach. Uh, Ryan Sims with the ten. The alcohol compels you. Yeah, I was drinking before I got on. Shake from the hunger team with two. You should have Gary on. Oh, that's in the works. Uh, Monty Pe Andrew Monopetti with the two for the quality co for the quality Cobra content. I regret nothing. Neither do I. Love you know, I should have like looked over it first. That's my fault. I also regret not recording Cobra's new woman having a live stream and a meltdown. She was in tears. She's like, if Cobra cared about me, he would call me. And she calls everybody the F slur repeatedly. It was a great stream. Then she passes out, wakes back up. Starts crying, but when she cries, she snorts like a pig. It's a whole scene, man. But she deleted the fucking video. Kabersha Barber with the five. You have a beautiful singing voice. And I had a long time ago. Blue Bit with the ten. This is so you can go eat Mr. Chow's. Ah. Deska. Blue Bit with another ten. Oh, wait. 
don't eat Mr. Chow. I meant at the restaurant. I don't know. Uh, nope, don't know the Japanese phrase for that. Sonic jaded with the two. Phil may certainly RIP from his sicko fans. Ripped from one of his sicko fans. Stanley George with the 10. Outstanding work, Papa Gundam. Would love to see you build and paint some heavy arms, Gundam. Uh, that's in the future. Redbird UJ76 with the 2. How do you get to be so cool? I want to be like you. I want to be well, like the first you. thing, you need to think about ending your life every day. Wait, can I say that? Or is that too true? That's where I'm at. I wake up and I go, what Acceptable. the fuck am I here for? Why am I doing this anymore? There's no point to any of it. But here I am. Cody Evans with the five. Here's some money so you don't have to start e-begging. Snort, snort, Papa Gundam. I think I quit before that day comes. Uh, Grand Master Pie with the 50. This is for the hours of entertainment for when I play video games and I hear you in the background just destroying DSP and others. Speaking of which, have we played the Asmigol clip? Uh, no. Actually, uh... I can stop right there. Thank you so much, Grandmaster Pie, for that $50 super chat. And I will we'll force my ahead. producer to read people's chats on Saturdays while I sleep. All right. Asmongold. One moment. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Been watching since 2019. Love your content, brother. Thank you, brother lady. That's a very progressive name. Fluffy money from the devil. Money well spent. I'm going to buy some more kibble that she probably won't eat and then just throw across the floor. This is Asmin Gold's uh, feelings about some anime stuff going on. Expect this me should be to a draw one. a moral line. I have to perceive a difference that I consider substantial. And I do not consider the difference substantial. Do you guys? No. Right. No. And that's really what matters. If it was made with AI, I'm completely okay with that because it was fun. The evidence it is doesn't that matter. Nobody really cares the lead about this. developer has been very positive about AI in the past. Yeah. And made an AI game We're gonna play called this, by AI the way. Art Imposter that lets yeah. an AI artist draw a picture, and so that that was like like one of the yeah, games. We're gonna, be, and, we're gonna be playing and, this this week. Yes, just generally has been much more uh, positive about some of the benefits of AI rather than what is the normal sentiment amongst artists and and you know I guess general uh, Twitter population, which is that you know AI is bad and it takes jobs from well, people. Well, AI and the sentiment from artists, artist opinions don't matter. It just doesn't matter because what matters is the opinion of the people that are buying the product. Like it doesn't like your opinion on it. Like just because you do it doesn't buy like, Nobody cares. Like it, 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 it's not it's not relevant. It's like whenever one of these like, you know, really well respected and, and really respectable uh, directors talks about how bad Marvel is. Shut oh, up, come man. on, bro. Okay, get him, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Jesus fucking Christ. The dude who literally looks like a pedophile and lives like one is going to take a shit on Martin Scorsese, not on my watch. Not on my goddamn watch. You son of a bitch. The artist's opinion doesn't matter, says the person who's never created art. Jesus fucking Christ. We live in a day and age where someone who spent their entire life living in a cave like a boglin <laughs> playing World of Warcraft has amassed enough following to where people think he has good takes or great ideas. Fucking A. And I'm piss poor broke. I can't take it. I'm not even here for it. Ah, oh, Jesus. He said that about Scorsese. You'd, Scorsese's right. Marvel sucks dick. No, Floppy. Get the gun. Calm down. I know, I'm coming down. Marvel does suck. I don't give a shit. Scorsese's right. The dude came up with some of the best movies ever made. Meanwhile, we have films of Brie Larson. You keep it up, we'll watch more Marvel. 
God damn it, dog. I'll make you live with asthma gold. That's it. You're out of here. Play a clip of me doing something. Intermission. Where's the clip? Where the fuck is the clip? God damn it. That would have been the perfect time to play the video I gave you just in case of these sort of situations. It's not playing. I'm yelling at you and you hide in the back? I hear you breathing. I hear you fucking breathing. I'm here. God damn it. This is why we'll never beat F and T. Never. Really? Now? I was happier before YouTube. Oh, wait, what? What am I doing on? You're I really should have. What? I'm on now. Well, it's already happened. 
where the living hell is today's guest. Well, that's that. Uh, that did not work out the way I thought it was going to. Uh, I was expecting something a bit more seamless, like boom, somehow we have someone come in. We talk a little bullshit, and then I go off into the sunset to drink myself into going to bed after playing a song that I had no intention of playing. But I did so because my dog went completely insane. Uh, that was from my band. It's an unfinished track that was recorded in a basement called Blood for the Sun. Obviously, it's written by a pissed off Native American. You might know who. Uh, it was going to be released in 2020. I had every intention of going back to making music, but everything just went to shit. Uh, at the time, the guy producing it, he wanted the back end on everything. And I'm like, you're not getting the back end. You know, I'm going to pay you up front for your work, and then we're going to call it fucking even. And he's like, no, I, I want back in, you know, uh, uh, rights to this and that. And uh, for for all perpetuity or some shit, for like forever and ever, even until after I died. And I remember Prince came to me personally in a dream. And he was like, you have to own your own masters. And I was like, okay, Prince. So I wasn't giving him back in. Needless to say, negotiations fell through, and uh, fuck it. Absolutely fuck it. Here we are now. Release it, please. I'm thinking about it and seeing like if it does well in the YouTube channel, then maybe it would make the band get back together. But a couple of members of my old band got an award in another band. So, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe nobody come back because they got other things going on. And uh, yeah, you know, I'll keep making these stupid ass videos until uh, the election season's over and my channel quits being fucking deranked for whatever reason while we're waiting on the guest let me go ahead and catch up on some of these super chats um duty streams with the five dollars here i may spend it on wwe champions and sweaty jpegs also did you see the argentina detractors that are fishing phil oh yeah of course i saw the uh, argentinian world order <laughs> Scarlock with the five dollars starts on Pal World stealing Sonichu from Chris Chan. They literally have an electric hedgehog in the game. Hashtag justice for Chris Chan. I heard about that actually. Uh, my only regret is I forgot to download the Pal World Nintendo mod before they decide to go after the modder. Captain Spire with the 10. Remember when YouTube hype started and the argument was all we need to be is positive and stay away from the negativity? That worked fantastically well. Thanks for hanging in there, Gundam. Oh, man. RX Animations with the five pounds. Imagine if high school showed Gurren Lagan and Unicorn to kids. I know I pronounced that <laughs> Also, do you ha have you watched Gurren Lagan on cinemas? Uh, no, I haven't. Gurren Lagan. That name doesn't ring a bell to me. <laughs> Hobbs Garage been a member for a month. Papa Gundam, keep up the good fight. Bike fixed yet? The bike was fixed years ago. How did people miss this? I even did a short riding around. McDougal, another member for a month. Hang in there, King. I'm rooting for you, dude. Brother Lady with the five. Been watching you since 2019. Love the content, brother. Wow, you've been around for a... I've been doing this too long. Steve O'Devil with the five. Here's Fluffy some money. Odd Man Out props with the two dollars. I liked when you talked about his plump wife. Oh, Cat is very attractive. Uh, we have our first red label for tonight. Box Swapper with the hundred dollars for the times that I haven't paid for your other content value for value. The karma for taking the hits for calling it like it is. Thank you so Biggest much. Biggest mistake Swap. of my life. If I could go back, I would have played it cleaner or something. I would have never talked about Twitch dots. I'd have been like, they're bold, beautiful, and empowering. Please don't. Oh, and I would have never <laughs> made a video on Hillary Clinton. That one really got me in trouble. DB Nirvana with the five. I give you credit for all you suffer through for our entertainment, my dude. Got to throw in for the pile. Ah, uh, yeah. That new house is on the way. David McFarlane with the 50 uh, for the quality content. Thanks, Gundam. On, on of your 
your favorite old school videos was the one of my favorite old school videos was your motorcycle one. What did I do? I can't remember. Whoa, I like that thumbnail. The guy is deep in there picking his nose. Alpha lesbian gifted 20 memberships. That's Thank a lot. You. Uh, Grandmaster Pie with the $10. Fluffy's not a fan of Scorsese. She thinks Casino is overrated. Goodfellas is too slow, and the Irishman has too little pesci. Uh, I think Fluffy wasn't a fan of me screaming. <laughs> she loves Goodfellas. You can't say a bad word about Ray Liotta in this house. Shabressa Barber with the $2. Is this song new? No, that's an old song that I finally had the time to tweak. Like, there was a lot of stuff we didn't do when I was recording. And there's about, I know nobody really cares, but I think I have at least 30 songs that we never really ironed out fully. So, yeah, I was planning ahead for when I got the recording deal. <laughs> Stupid me. Uh, Alejandro Trombono with the five dollars. Oh my gosh, dude, that music hits so hard. Papa Gundam, you are truly underrated. I think people will notice me when I die in a gutter like Edgar Allan Poe. Then, like, really edgy teenagers will wear shirts with my stupid avatar on it. Matthew Woolley has been a member for seven months. In 20 years, we'll have, we'll have mendicant bias to save us. Okay. <laughs> Killer Trip 10 with the $5. We didn't start the so just, so, so just, so just. Oh, man. Baka no Sensei 405 with the $2. Cyrax is DSP, DSP's long lost son. I don't know much about Cyrax, but he's been making the rounds on the locale area. What about Diaper Chew? We need more Diaper Chew news. Shabrasha Barber with another five. Please keep making songs. You still have a beautiful voice, a true poet. I wish I believed you. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Adu with the five pounds. Get the fluffy flatmate something nice. Uh, Yangula 666 with the Ron 250. Where can I get your music? I'd like to listen to that song on my 4329Ps. I'm sure the neighbors would appreciate that as well. Sounds like a amplifier, am I correct? I'm, oh, sorry. I was reading yeah. something else. Uh, I'll figure something out at some point. I really wanted to put out, you know, something on Spotify, like a whole thing of actually good stuff. But, you know, getting people together now is like herding cats. And I go like, listen, dude, people are actually interested in what we're doing online. And they're like, I don't know, man. Online is pretty gay, dude. And I'm like, well, what the fuck is gayer? Playing these shitty ass bars where no one gives a fuck? God damn. Uh, Steiner Math with the $2. Love your content, sir. Been here since Fallout 76, 2018. Well, when Steiner Math backs me up, you, you can't question it. Omar Williams with the two. Been watching a long time. Missed the Bad Dad videos. Yeah, YouTube uh, demonetized the channel for a whole year because of the Bad Dad videos. They don't know what the fuck comedy is. They, like, Brendan Rodgers can do what he does, and it's, like, not considered bad. But then Brendan Rodgers is openly gay. And I guess since I'm not openly gay, I can't do anything considered funny because it's harmful and hurtful. Space Eel with the 20. Keep it up, dude. You're a fave. Brendan Johnson also with the 20. You're a rock star, sir. Keep pushing forward. Um, and I can stop right there if we're ready for the guest. You see no one in the back row. We're fucked. I, I know. <laughs> Let me keep going. Game Viter with the $5. Thank you, Gundam. I'm getting crucified every day to pay for my bigotry. How much is it costing you with bigotry, good sir? Victor Ruiz with the $5. Dude, that song is a banger. I'm surprised anyone thought that. I figured people would hate the shit. Goldhead with the $5. Check out Full Metal Damien Muramasa. It's like Berserk meets Gundam. You can thank me later. All right, I'll give that a look. Uh, Fantastic Mr. Knox with the five. Saw your video about the GPO2 third party. MG Stardust memory kits need a revamp, but Bandai being Bandai. Anyways, looking to pre-order. 
Uh, you can find it on Gun Damn It for a hundred and eight dollars. If you go through Extra Hassle, you can find it on Taobao for forty eight dollars and two cents. Then you got to find a proxy site for them to send it to. Then they'll mail it to you. And at the end of the day, it could cost almost hundred dollars. So you save a little bit. Composite Frylock with five dollars DSP. Hey, Review Tech USA, and it's a Gundam. Why are you two so obsessed with me, Snort? Keep my name out your mouth. I only do DSP stuff for the fans at this point. Like, I I, I have a DSP video planned. It's going to be a very long one. I've been collecting shit since the side-scrollers thing ended. I just haven't found the strength in my soul to sit through a five-hour interview and then cut it down to the most interesting bits, then sit and collect i've already collected most of it but get all the shit from the end of the side scrolls crap where dsp just slowly loses his fucking mind and we end up to the point where we are now where dark side phil is literally fighting with argentinian pesos like that's a fucking plot change that nobody saw coming cold zero with the rsd 500 my friend and myself have been following you for years keep up the great work here's some serbian money we take ah. all kinds Serbian like money, this. so that's probably like a few cents, I'm pretty sure. Nathan Cash with the $5. Dying in a gutter, you're going to be the most dangerous rock and roller since Gigi Allen. Keep up the strong work, Gundam. Dude, I'm going to fucking die in a gutter. My high school teacher knew it. She wasn't as stupid as I thought she was. Killer Trip 10 with the 5. Here's another 5 to say that song was awesome again. Oh, God bless you. I'll, like, show this shit to my band members and see what they say. D -Latch like, look, I got five bucks. Twice. D-Latch with the five dollars. Thank you. Cabresha Barber with the two dollars. Gameplays where you roast the characters like Resident Evil 7. How did Dickerstein get banned? Where is he banned? We got our first ban? I don't know. Hmm. I'm looking at that in a second. Uh, e... ELT Gray with the 10, haven't caught a stream of yours, was listening to you on the other day while sitting in traffic on my bike. Oh, wow. Live? Wow. We're reaching people. Finally. Uh, Takoon 513 with the 10, just upload the song. I want to listen to that on repeat while I'm fixing condensers on a customer's house. Yeah, I'm getting around to it. It's just, uh, there's some funky stuff going on with my channel right now, and uh, I don't think I'm going to get any help for it for a while, because uh, I wonder, could I talk about what YouTube's doing? Because they, it's already come out that YouTube's firing like 100 people on like uh, one of those tech sites, but the truth of the matter is they're firing way more than 100 people, dude. They're like firing thousands, thousands. And they already have partner managers, like, doled out to, like, 80 people now. It's fucking ridiculous, dude. It's it's so fucked up. And if you're not hiring the pecking order and you're not someone they deem as safe, man, oh, my God. What the fuck is this? This is something that I saw earlier that I love. Uh, shout out to Flink, uh, I'm sorry, Fleur Shinko, Shinko Fleur. Uh, is this going to have DSP with a woman's voice? That's where I feel Karen this is voice. going. Yes. And he get an idiot like this guy, Stimpy. That's your problem, not ours. Wrong. You're the one here watching the content. I won't be here making content anymore if this continues, you dumb idiot. That's the point I'm making. I'm not some rich YouTuber rolling in money that I can take this hit. You fucking idiotic brain dead moron leaving a dumb comment in a chat and acting like you know what you're talking about, all right? I'm a normal guy like you. When I lose thousands of dollars in a month, it fucks me up, all right? So that's why I can't have this happen. I need people to hopefully do something to help me. In this case, you know, this next week, all these new games coming out, please support these streams. Let's end on a high note. Um, let's read a few tweets from angry women about the Barbie movie. Because that's what's important to me right now, not Dark Side Phil, the patriarchy, and how we can continue to maintain it to oppress these goddamn women. <laughs> the silence bothers me. Oh, I thought you were going to pull them up. God damn it. Button. 
I'll do it. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, okay, I've sent you the stuff a little while back. He's probably got the message. Uh, We're going to let me... make sure. Let's I've got see. It. I've got it. You've already been beaten by me, I think. Uh, how do I zoom in on this shit? Let's do it the old-fashioned way. It. I got it. Don't worry about it. God damn it, you're better at this than I am. This encapsulates what's going on. This shit was the 9-11 for affluent white women whose main takeaway from the Barbie movie was women should win everything always. Basically, the big burn is uh, Ryan Gosling has basically been nominated for Best Supporting Actor, and Margot Rubio got nothing. But what they don't notice is that a woman of color, an indigenous woman, has been nominated for the Best Female Actress. But who cares about that? Margot Rubio has been just snubbed for this um, heroic film that really... I don't know what the fuck they're saying. They said the shit like was super or some crap and talks about how goddamn fucked up America is. And all I can think is like all of these women are bitching from like thousand dollar phones in the fucking United States. What I wouldn't give to snatch these women up like a chicken hawk and drop them in the Middle East and just sprinkle them like raindrops to show them what real fucking oppression was for women. This country's so great that women who listen to Taylor Swift are personally attacked by a film we all fought, got existed not getting an Oscar or an award nomination for two fucking broads. I'd like to thank the Academy for reminding us that no matter how much progress we think we make, oh, yes, get back in that kitchen, you whore. The real world has always been and remains a kingdom. <laughs> Go to a fucking VA hospital. Male privilege is not the first thing that comes to mind. I saw a video of soldiers in the Ukraine fighting as a dude got gunned down into nothing and blown to bits. God damn his Kennergy. The Hillary Clinton stepped in. Uh, well, it could sting to win the boss office, but not make take home the gold. Your millions of fans love you. You're both so much more than enough. Why is... Oh, I can't say what I wanted to say. I almost said something fucking what everyone else would have thought. And just move it on. You can't say anything bad about Hillary Clinton on YouTube other than she's great. And Donald Trump stole the election from her. And I need to apologize to Asmund Gold for calling him a bald buffoon. He's right. An artist's opinion doesn't matter. And AI is totally cool when it takes people's jobs. I can't wait for the day when AI takes streamers jobs and instead of people watching Asmin slowly bald while a box of chicken nuggets turns into a whole ecosystem behind him, they go and watch AI generated women with big jiggly titties. He won't be so happy then. Oh, we got another super chat. God bless you. Emotional damage. Oh, God, this show was so fucking terrible. <laughs> I, I hated everything about it. This wasn't planned. Our last minute guest uh, vanished into the ether. That's my fault, though. Mike Klum also refused to return on the stream. I said, would you like to give me a statement? I guess his silence was the statement. I'd like to apologize for inadvertently ending the DSP documentary. I had no idea grilling Mike Klum on any level would lead the pig lord into a furious snort text that led to the end of something that admittedly probably wouldn't have been that interesting. But the second Moist Critical watched it, it would have gotten like 4 million views and everybody would have paid a detention then, just like the Boogie documentary. I was watching that shit on Halloween night. I was in the chat when it was live. Like 10K people gave a shit before Moist. And that's the reality of the situation. Nothing you do on this platform matters unless one of the anointed takes notice of it. So long as the anointed don't take notice of you. And oh, what the hell is going on here? A door dash. I see. I get that. Okay. Do we have any more DSP art from the children? Uh, no, that was it. That's actually, I believe that's from duty. Oh.
No, we got another one. There's no comedy goal here today, dude. No, like, I, none to be had whatsoever. I'm not going to fucking lie to you, dude. I've been editing that stupid-ass G4 video every day for days. I lost track of time. I would wake up whenever, and I'd edit that shit all through the night. And then before I knew it, the sun was back up. Then I'd crawl in bed, go to sleep, wake up, you know, do your thing, clean up after it. And I was shit, piss, wash face, brush teeth, all the other shit. Go edit again. And it just kept going until the video finally came out and I could sleep. And then before I know it, I got to do this shit again. And it's like, I got to be up for this. Why can't we do it whenever I feel? Like, Nerd Roddick can go at noon. Why don't I go at noon sometimes? If I'm up in the nude, it should be the noon. We can go whenever you want to, to tell you the truth. What about you, that's Chad? The, what do y'all think? That, that's the way it should be. We should have went on when DSP first, like, complained about not doing the documentary so I could have real-time watched the shit. And then, uh, yeah, the quality content name is copyrighted. Yeah, I don't know about that, Dickie. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's it. Uh, the, the guest isn't coming. Mike Klum isn't coming. Okay. I told him that Dark Side Phil will be here and that he's interested in doing the uh, documentary again, I swear. Um, I guess we could just end off on this, these. I got about 10 super chats left, and then uh, we, can call it a, we can call it a Riz app. Let's do it. All right. Uh, Ryoshi about with the five pounds. Remember Filthy Frank? I am still relevant, dude. Filthy Frank is, he's like doing music now, isn't he? Yeah, Joji. He's fucking Joji now. I wanted to do that. I figured I'd switch to music and leave this shit behind and things just went raw. Uh, Baka no Sensei 405 with the $2. Put the song out. It's a banger. One hundo. Cold Zero with the RSD 100. <laughs> Uh, it was just a few cents more. Dinars aren't even pesos. Wah, wah. Our animations with the two pounds. Girl Legan is the exact opposite of Eva. Big hype. Uh, Louis Arroyo with the $10. Love you, Papa Gundam. Also released the song. That's what I'm saying. Arthur Everest with the $5. Here's your bread, Gundam. I know Father Mohan isn't giving you any. Bless you for the positive content. It has been very positive, the things I said today. I outed Pokimane for being a racist. That's pretty big. Um, Bluebit with the five. Uh, you're going to be streaming more on YouTube. Also, what guests are you waiting for? Well, I was going to have Craig on. Because uh, he wanted to come on and talk some stuff. Because I figured if we're going to talk about his DSP stuff. Which I didn't know we were talking about DSP today, by the way. I really don't want to talk about DSP unless I fucking have to. Like, that's just it. I saw it on the fucking thing here. Is the first thing I saw. DSP rage quits doc. And I'm like, what the? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know? like, when does DSP not rage quit something? He rage quit like seven things this week. And we're going to talk about it. He rage quit the dock. He rage quit fucking Resident Evil Zero. He rage quit fucking Street Fighter. I'd like to see DSP complete something, but like not a video game, like a house thing. I'd like to see DSP fix his own garbage disposal or some shit. Or maybe recycle better. I don't fucking know. Today I jogged and went around the block. I completed burning some calories. I don't fucking know. Forgive me. I love how you raise the cost of memberships. I need money. You didn't. Oh, Showtime. Thank you for the $5. He raised the cost of memberships because the trolls, you little pieces of dog shit, have been giving Dark Side Phil Argentinian pesos, knowing fucking goddamn well how much it costs to compete to be in the top 10 of WWE champions. And have you seen the size of his woman? Let me tell you something, dude. DoorDash is not cheap. When you're eating there every fucking day. Did you know Pokimane spent $20,000 on um, Starbucks alone? So it makes you think what Dark Side Phil's doing is not actually limited to just Phil. But anyway, what was my point? Who cares? Uh, what's uh, this? Victus Omen, $9. Thank you. Hey, Gundam, I've been watching you for years. I just want to say thank you for all the wonderful entertainment over the years. Your videos got me through some dark times. God bless you. Omen. I'm going to send that to my mother. <laughs> she knows I'm doing the Lord's work. Not only did I save this man's life, but he gave me $5 for doing it. 
I'm a fucking brick. Ugh. DSP and LTG need to collab. They can both relate to... Oh, that's never happening. Storm Titan, thank you for the $5. LTG. LTG. I'm just going to let Tater read these from now on because like my voice is drying out from screaming earlier. LTG roasted Phil so fucking bad. Like, what was it? Over the summer? He literally fucked DSP's head up. LTG comes in and he does the black thing, you know. You, you don't want to get these 50 bands? 50 bands? And Dark Side Phil's like, snort? What are 50 bands? It's $50,000 in hood speak. You know? And I'm sitting there like, all right. You don't need to speak hip-hop to Phil. You know Phil don't fucking know. Even though he's from the mean streets of Greenwich, Connecticut. And then LTG looks at him and goes, wearing t-shirts and shit. Like, LTG don't wear t-shirts. But then he goes, get your sexy up. Fix your sexy. And then DSP goes, my sexy? My, what is he talking about? My wife likes the way I look. Ever since then, Phil has abandoned the game of t-shirts, as you see back here. And he started wearing, like, button-ups. He tried to wear some dress shirts. Remember he was wearing a women's cardigan, like, a week or two ago? LTG fucked up DSP's brain. He's actually trying to dress <laughs> like he's not destitute. But the funny thing is, he's still wearing the Zelda PJs. And the fact I know all this dumb shit is just terribly, <laughs> terrible for me. I shouldn't know any of this. <sighs> Attempt for the song. Where can I order the song? Hey, Steve of the Dead. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't have it up anywhere. Uh, DB Nirvana, five bucks. We're all enough. Everyone here. You're right. And I've had enough of this. Take over, my good man. I'm drinking. Uh, Snowbird 20, 2701. Hey, G, do you think the day will return where American comic media will be better than Japanese anime manga? I remember those days. I miss them. Those days are not over. There's still much manga to be had, my child. D latch with the five. There's always hope. My beloved late wife, age 36, was a complete unicorn. PB centerfold, Playboy centerfold, me, no money, no drama, never complained. Holy shit, dude. I'm sorry for your loss. That that seems so wild. It almost seems unreal. Yeah, sorry for your loss as well. Shabre Shabressa Burr. By the way, don't bother dating. <laughs> like, don't put yourself through it. The dating market right now is so retarded, it'll take your will to live. Uh, this show is fine. We're here for the comedy gold, baby. Thank you for Yeah, remember pity. to clip my worst fucking rant so I could piss off people and end up on Dextra. Chaos Proxy with the 20. Scuffed or not, quality content has made me crack up more than any other video today. Keep it up, Gundam. Oh, well. Thank you for thinking this garbage is any good. This has been a terrible show. D disconnect with the two. I agree as well. Fluffy, 2024 president. I would vote for Fluffy any day of the week over what we've got going on now. God help us all. Breadsticks with the two. Remind me not to, to suck start my gun. Well, you know, I have no words of wisdom other than... Don't overcook your chicken in the oven because then it gets really hard and it's not very good, but you try to eat it anyway. And before you know it, you get, you know, you get the runs. And then you know what I've learned recently? I've learned that sometimes wet farts have a little bit of shit in them. So if you think that you're gambling with your ass and your pants, you certainly are. That's all for now when it comes to that little tidbit. I just recently learned this. Frosty with the two. I strongly dislike Charlie's content, Gundam. Love Gundam. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? He's the greatest YouTuber that ever existed. He makes up stuff that's so funny, like puppy, kitten, meow, meow, dick fart, chicken, licking, tender, ficken. Oh, man. Pokey has done something really gay today. Got him! Got him! We had to cut that clip of the guy screaming, got him, because he starts using the N-word <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie D stories with the $51. That song was amazing. Love that you keep it real even when it's about regretting every minute every minute of it. More music and Billy would be cool by the way. 
I forgot to like make Billy clips because like I said, I was editing G4. I totally forgot to set up. You want to hear something stupid? Because I'll tell you people, I don't care anymore. Uh, I was fully intending to switch from doing my main channel to painting model kits and doing really intricate camera work. So I spent a lot of money on camera gear and learning about filming and shit like for years. And I have an entire film setup where I could literally do my own fucking indie movie. So whenever you see those Billy clips now, you might not notice it, but I'm using anamorphic lenses and shit to get like a film cinematic wide view as my puppet masturbates. And I sit there and I think to myself, does anyone notice the blue lens flare? Do the people know that I'm actually using top end glass to make a fucking puppet masturbate? Because I give that much a shit. I forgot my point. Thank you for the two dollars, Fox. Any, Any chance, chance he will risk it? Life. Who? Phil? Never. DSP loves himself. I wish I had a fraction of his fucking self confidence. Him or King Cobra? Like those are two dudes. No matter what the fuck they do, <laughs> it's great. It's always amazing. I was watching King Cobra literally give himself botulism last week, and he was like, "Oh man, chat." This is great mead. And I'm like, he's going to die. He's going to kill himself with like syrup and sugar and alcohol. And the whole way through, he's like, I'm just like making the best mixed drinks. Meanwhile, if I edit a video and forget something like I did the G4 video, I thought about how I should have did some animated money numbers. And I'm like, I'm such a fucking idiot. People will probably watch that video and think, well, wow, he could have added money right here and it would have made more sense. God, he's such a charlatan. No wonder he didn't hit a million. Then I passed back out from exhaustion, so the thought didn't last long. I don't remember my point. Spiderpunk92 with the $5. Keep up the great content, brother. By the way, are you going to be playing Tekken 8? Dude, I'm not even going to lie to you. I haven't played a video game since Christmas Day with Zeltex. Like, I, I don't have time. I'm usually staring at Adabe. It sucks cock. Snowbird 20, 2701 with the five dollars. It's a Gundam went to town riding on a pony. He stuck a feather in his cap and called it macaroni. I was thinking it was going to go someplace else, but it didn't. Burn Burnson uh, with the two pounds. There's one thing DSP completed. The camera was on. You got to give this to DSP. Honest to God, the dude jerked off a camera and didn't skip a beat. Anyone else? Would have been like, oh, my God, I just jerked off on camera. Oh, my God, my life is over. Phil just snorts into it, rocks back and forth, and acts like nothing happened. The level of um, just, I like I said, I wish I had that power. I wish I had it. <laughs> Fantastic, Mr. Knox with the $2. It's amazing. Go Godzilla minus one only got one nomination for VFX. You know something? You're fucking right. Godzilla Minus One was a good film. That was a good movie. Where I actually sat and watched it and cared about what the fuck was going on. Barbie, all I remember is like Ken bits, kinda. And not even that much. Like the battle on Malibu Beach and the Ken song is what I remember. And Barbie punching some dude out because he had to touch her ass because every man is a misogynist and a sexual degenerate. That film fucking sucked. It's a shame Godzilla Minus One didn't get more stuff. Blue Bit with the $2. Uh, hey, Stu, you're a legend on all Gundam channels. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're taking credit for other people's work. Well. <laughs> Just step right in. Shake from the Hunger Team uh, with the $10. Gundam Invite. Uh, invite the whole F&T crew. They're that not going to awesome come on here. Not coming on this trash. John O'Rourke with the twenty dollars. The police department still supports you in Texas. We will give you a light. We'll give you lights and siren escort next time you visit. If I could actually get that, I would totally do it. Can I dress like Michael Jackson in like uh, that one music video where he's got the black get up on with all the military people around him? That I do because it's so fucking retarded. Chicago box with the five dollars. The 1920s had a great depression. The 2020s had the great retardation. We got we got it worse. Thank you for the money, by the way, guys. And I totally agree with you. We went from 
I can do it to I have autism. That's where America is now. Uh, Chris with the $5 showing support on here, and I also went and bought the album after Google searching for it. Wish I could have half the talent you have. Talent is overrated, dude. Let me tell you, it don't mean shit anymore, bro. You just need luck and uh, maybe knowing the right people. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Chad Patton with the two. I want to hear the unknown warrior war cry from you. Yeah. I ain't got it in me right now. <laughs> <laughs> D-Latch with the five. You're doing the Lord's work. Me and my 10-year-old yell, it's a gunnum at every beginning of the show. We watch it a lot. She has learned a lot. We are based. We based. Lol. That poor kid is going to like get in so much trouble when you send her to school and she repeats one of my belief systems. Shabressa Barber with the three dollars. I'll give you one too, Stu. I appreciate that. Thank you. A statistic with the five. I doubt that you'll kick the bucket in the gutter. By the time that you do, gutters will be outsourced to China. That's a good point. Okay, realistically, I'll die in a motorcycle, most likely. Jack the Tech with the five dollars. I was using anamorphic lessons as my puppet masterpiece. <laughs> now that's comedy. It's worth at least five bucks. Thank you. Someone understands. And the last super chat, Jesus to be with the five dollars. Gundam, random question. Any chance you've got a ghost encounter or a paranormal experience? Uh, let's see. I was close to death a few years ago from um obviously eating poorly and being in an apartment that had no power in the one of the worst winters in New York. And I remember shaking really bad. You're know, just like in the bed freezing and whatnot. And all of a sudden, man, I thought my cat jumped on the bed. And I'm like, hey, Smokey, what's up, little dude? But it was a bobcat. And I was too weak to scream. So I was like, ah, ah, you know, like that. It had passed out. And I figured he was going to eat me. I woke up and it was gone. I was told that I was visited by my spirit animal. Which is very disappointing. Because I, I don't want bobcat. I want a wolf or something. Like, that would be cool, like. My spirit animal is the wolf or the great eagle. No, it's a fucking bobcat, man. Uh, let's see. Any, oh, another paranormal experience I had. It was after Michael Jackson died. <laughs> this is probably just a nightmare. But I remember <laughs> dreaming. My television turned on and Michael Jackson's face started coming through the screen, right? And like, But he had no nose and he was bald. And he's like, help me, help me. And I was screaming like a motherfucker, dude. And then I woke up. Now, ironically, I just saw Michael Jackson's autopsy, and guess what? He was fucking bald. So that might have actually been Michael looking for, him for help, but he came to the wrong house because I can't even help myself. Is that the question? Oh, my friends went to, uh, I didn't go to this one. There's a place, I think, in Troy, it's, uh, some cemetery. It's one of the nine gates of hell or the eight gates of hell. This place is famous. Go look it up. Like, uh, there was a company that tried to do documentaries on paranormal experiences at ghost places but they really couldn't film at this cemetery like shit always got fucked up so they just gave up on it and they were saying like some scary shit happened when they went like my buddy was like man i felt something touch me while i was running and i'm just like yeah because you don't go to places like that you don't go to the areas where the dead is and native american belief and superstition you're not supposed to cross a threshold where you have no ties to the family but that's just some other bullshit that you don't need to know you see Ethan Ralph had a DSP fat moment on the stream, clowny gaming. Yes, I did see him jerk it. Was he seriously jerking off? Was that just speculation? No, he was. You're he a sick bastard. I love it. I get in trouble over your content at work. No regrets. Keep on point five dollars. Thank you very much. Uh, try not to watch my shit at work, dude. Like, um, I'm, dude, I'm fucking normal. Let's face it. I'm normal. I'm the average guy, you know, at the wine cooler at your job. Like, for fuck's sakes, man. It's just everything's so twisted now that being normal is the weird thing. But being weird is cool. Like, oh, oh trans in the kids. <laughs> That's all right. Yes. Put the boy to dress. Take away those cookies. That's normal. You sit there and go, I, I think we should let the kids be kids. That's when you're over the line. That's when you're a fucking bigot. Hey, it's Derek. Derek gave me five bucks. <laughs> hey, Derek. <laughs> 
I was trying to catch you on a cherry pimp stream, my dude. Let me know the next time you're on so I can watch you in chat. I love when Derek's in chat. When Derek is on the stream, it's nothing but lulls. He'll sit there and say stuff like, Stephanie, you didn't say my name. I'm crying now. Stephanie, say my name. It's my birthday today, Stephanie. Please tell me you want my jizz on your face. Well, what's up? Showtime with another $5. What are your thoughts on an RTU battle with the detractors? Snorts keep giving him the... the what is that? A cucumber? Yeah. I haven't been paying attention to it. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. I know Review Tech USA got on Twitter and had a stream saying some shit to people. And I was just kind of like, what's the point of all this? So DSP isn't doing the documentary. Fuck it. Like, why antagonize people about it? Who cares? DSP is going to do something retarded in a week from now. Like, mark my words. Cat's going to have fucking, like, diabetes type 2. Give it a month, my dude. There will be new crazy shit. I can't believe my producer said that about Cat. The amorphous blob. I was speaking about the photo. But she's, uh, a, she's, super a biggin. she's a biggin. She's a biggin. Like, is that not proof that everything DSP touches turns to shit? Like, realistically, I'm not even trying to be an asshole here, but like his YouTube career, he was on the front page of Linus Tech Tips back in the day, dude. He threw it away. He threw it the fuck away. Uh, he lost Panda Lee. He threw cat. She ran away. <laughs> she yeah. saw that. She saw that future. You got to give it to Panda Lee. She, like, didn't let herself get so far into Phil that she just, God damn, man. How the fuck you do that to your girlfriend? You know why this happened? It's because Phil was too stupid to build a fucking treadmill. That's why. <laughs> Cat gaining weight is Phil's fault. And I'll die on that hill. Oh, what's this, huh? Uh, uh, Meet the Monty. Meet the Monty. Another super chat. Five bucks. Thank you, sir. Uh, and that's it. I, I was thinking about ending the stream with uh, Meerkat's new Snortway record Darkula flow and um we were gonna raid locale live you'll probably have to do it on your side in the studio like last oh time oh my god <laughs> thank you for the five dollars gunblade knight who was a greater failure dsp boogie or nick avocado dsp without a doubt that that goes without saying boogie had 700k to lose in bitcoin dsp never came that close to 700k um, let's see. Nick Avocado? Isn't Nick rich? Nick's got to be rich. There's no other way around it. DSP's never going to have that type of bread. Although Nick Avocado, like, yeah, I'm not even going any further. I don't care to talk about that, actually. We've got a big red one. How long would it take for you to get Pokimane pregnant? I don't know. I'd have to be somebody she didn't know. <laughs> I'd probably have to be a popular, um, actor or esports player and she'd have to give up her career because pokey's gonna be career you know what i think is gonna happen to pokemon i don't give a fuck i piss her off i don't care anymore even though i did dm her like a year or two ago actually for help getting some asus gun of stuff and she totally snubbed me anyway i think pokemon is gonna end up like one of those chicks that tries to have a, ki a kid at like 40 or something like she's gonna be doing the whole in vitro shit no doubt uh Feed Stu. He always looks so skinny. Stu caught COVID and died, but he was so reticent, vigilant, and dedicated to his job that he never left his chair. And I wouldn't be here without that man. I'm pretty sure Stu was a man, even though he's got cat ears on. I don't know. I don't remember who sanctioned the cat ears, but uh, they're there. Bro, you... <laughs> You remind me of a conversation we used to have on the smoke deck while deployed. Thanks for giving us Sea Combat Vets a community again. A thank you, Viking Fan 5. Nick Avocado is rich because he does OnlyFans too. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to talk about Nick Avocado's OnlyFans because Ziltex used to think it was fucking funny to send me shit that he would then edit in video of Nick Avocado's OnlyFans where he's getting pounded in the ass. That shit was not funny, bro. That was like fucking borderline. Oh, crap. I can't even say that. It's borderline great. He did to me. He's like, check this out. I'm like, okay, cool. It's a new video game. Then it's like Nick Avocado getting blasted in the ass. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? 
And then he just start laughing because he thought it was funny. Zill was sick. <laughs> Bulls made five bucks. Hey, Gundam, I'm surprised you don't know about uh, Gurren Lagan. It is made by a studio. I probably can't even read that correctly right now. Gen X, I probably got that so wrong. And it is only two seasons in. They are also releasing a movie. Well, uh, dude, most of my life is fucking Adabe. Like, close friends have to hit me up to let me know something's going on. And then I have to write it down because then I won't remember. My life is basically editing videos and trying to invest money. So when I'm old enough to retire, I don't have to come back. Pokemon Steam still thinks about you, Gunnam. Don't worry. I, I'm on her shit list, Cosmic Vader. She is so mad at me that she now pretends I don't exist. That's how you know a woman hates you. <laughs> when she has to pretend you're not there. And that's cool, you know. Uh, let's see. Blue Bit, $5. Does Stu get a message uh, mess with by Zell 2 also? Are you going to say when he comes back, right, Stu? Uh, Zell text. I don't know what he's coming back to be real with you. I'm not going to give too much on about his life, but you know, he's enjoying his life. He's seeing someone. He's trying to get a car. He's got his own place. He's not really interested in inter internet bullshit realistically. So that's why he's not really around. Uh, I've talked to him about this a couple times. He said he might come and do this show with me. I'm not making any fucking guarantees because there are times where, Ziltex will then pretend that he's not on WhatsApp when I bring it up because he really doesn't want to fuck with any of this. And I understand. I completely understand. This shit sucks. <laughs> you know, like, I'm not going to be like fucking Phil and Rambo, where it's like, Rambo, Bambo, please do Mario Party with me. It's like, I get it, dude. You're living your life. You're having a good time. You're enjoying yourself. You're traveling around the world. Keep doing it. Ugh. Okay. That looks like. Uh... Oh wait, we got one more. Last one. Uh, it's a Zach HD for your retirement, you goofy goober. God bless you, Zach. That's gonna go to my DoorDash, cause I'm making myself fat. All right. Now, what's this? Oh, the snort wave. Yeah. Let's go. about this shit ask me if i care about this shit because i don't give a shit if i had a dollar for every time they said i gave a shit i'd be broke because i don't give a shit i'm not loyal to anybody i'm a demon i have no loyalty for anyone never did never will drink gas and cutting straight to the bricks <laughs> popped a perk 30 got straight to fucking Pop the old garbanzo bean. Fuck you mean. I'm sick in the head. Y'all can't fuck with me. This shit ain't nothing to me, you stupid piece of shit. What's wrong and filtered crack, you stupid piece of shit? Shorty chose to be with a demon sounds like her problem to me. She spread it and let me take a deep sniff of that slime. Coochie yummy slime, that coochie doing it for me slime. I don't give a fuck if I go blind. I'll have to stun on them next time. Drake gas and cutting straight to the bricks. Ha <laughs> ha. Popped a perk 30, got straight to fucking. Popped a old garbanzo bean. Fuck you mean. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm sick in the head. Y'all can't fuck with me. You can't trust me. I don't even trust myself. Ah! I don't know who I am anymore. I'm getting too much money. Can you remind me who I am? Get the president ah! on the phone. No. I'm him. I've been him. I will continue to be him.